In this video, I'm taking a look at the Galaxy of Adventures Darth Vader figure. Let's jump right into it. My name is Christopher, welcome to Seriously Star Wars. On this channel I do weekly Star Wars reviews, so if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, so this is the Star Wars Galaxy of Adventures Darth Vader figure, and I picked this guy up back in June I think it was, and they retail for $9.99 up here in Canada. I got him at Walmart, and I already have the Darth Maul figure. I picked up the Kylo Ren with this figure and then I also picked up the the Chewie, the Han, and the 3PO figure back in July last month there. So really happy I picked these figures up. I really like the the cartoon styling of these figures. They're just something different and the scale is kind of it's kind of in between the 6 inch black series figure and the 3.75 fig inch figures there. So I really like the scale of these figures, and I like the, the styling of these, so that, that's why I started collecting these ones. But, let's start with the packaging. So, in front of the packaging, you got the Star Wars logo down at the bottom there. You got the Hasbro and Disney logo down at the bottom there as well. Then at the top, the right corner there, you got the character names of Darth Vader. And then you got some nice artwork, some nice cartoony style artwork in the style of galaxy of adventures of Darth Vader there so that looks really nice on the right side of the packaging you got some kind of a, a preview of how the action gimmick works so each of these galaxy of, of adventures figures come with some sort of action gimmick so it looks like this one comes with like a kind of like a swivel swing of the lightsaber so something different so that that's what's on the one side of the packaging on the back side you got a bunch of nonsense information there and then again the galaxy of adventures logo at the back and then the hasbro and disney logo there also on the the right side of the box i forgot to mention the galaxy of adventures logo there as well on the left side of the box you got the galaxy of adventures logo at the top and then you have some other figures in the lineup so you got the Chewbacca, the Kylo Ren, the Rey and the Finn figure so I do have the Kylo Ren and the Chewbacca figure like I mentioned I'll be doing reviews on both of those as well but let's get Darth Vader out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look at him. looks like a pretty chunky figure and for some reason his cape is kind of tucked through this slot at the back so you want to be careful taking him out of the packaging alright so here is the galaxy of adventures Darth Vader out of the packaging and I just gotta say I like the I like the size of this figure. He's he's very bulky, very menacing, as he should be. The cape is kind of this soft vinyl, and as are the his robes down at the bottom here. They're kind of a softer vinyl there. But the rest of him is plastic. But he looks really really awesome there pretty simple not not too much going on for detail I mean pretty decent sculpt very decent sculpt actually but not a lot of not a ton of detail you can see some silver in his chest plate there you can see all the the red and silver and green in his chest piece there as well and then I like how they painted the, the lenses of his mask 
kind of a lighter, almost like a, a red or a brownie color. I like how they did that in a, a different color rather than just painting the lenses of his helmet black. So I, I appreciate that. As far as articulation goes for the Darth Vader Galaxy of Adventures figure, his head swivels and moves back and forth. His helmet does feel a little bit almost flim, not flimsy, but it's not as solid as it could be, I guess. But anyways, moving on to the arms, the arms move outward, the arms move up and back. You can't move it too far back because of the cape though. The elbows, there's a joint on the elbows there which they are a little bit tight so just be careful when you're you're posing the figure for the first time as the joints are going to be very tight his wrists swivel or his ar arms I guess they're not really his wrists they don't bend but they do swivel like I said, his, his elbows bend. Let's see if we can get this one bent. That one's a little bit tough. I don't want to bend that one too much. But his waist does swivel. So he's got that swivel movement in the waist there so that's where the action motion is so if you twist him to the to the left he will snap back into position there so that's really awesome his legs both move outward his knees bend again the joints are a little bit stiff so just be careful with those his knees do swivel as well Yeah, they do, they do bend. And then again, the ankles or the feet on these figures also rock back and forth, and they also swivel, just like very similar to the Black Series figures. So quite a bit of articulation in the Darth Vader figure, and like I said, pretty decent sculpt, I would say. The action movement is pretty awesome. I think it'll look really awesome with the lightsaber in hand. But like I said, pretty decent sculpt on the Darth Vader. His one hand is a trigger finger, which I'm not too sure why. Because uh, he holds his lightsaber, so I don't know why he has a trigger finger. But he does have his lightsaber as an accessory, of course. And it doesn't come out. The blade doesn't come out. But they did a really nice job on the, the detail on the lightsaber here. Like the hilt. It looks really well sculpted. They actually sculpted all the little pieces of that they painted black. And he even got that little silver bit there. Where he would hang his lightsaber on his, his belt or whatnot. So... I think they did a really fantastic job on the lightsaber. There's no bleed through of the red blade. Sometimes you can see the red bleed through if it's one solid piece. But this one you can't. But I think it looks... I think they did an absolutely fantastic job with the... With the lightsaber. Really nice job. But let's get him posed up here. Oh, his joints are really really tight all right so I was able to run Darth Vader's arm under some hot water and I was able to get it to bend so it was just very very stiff so always be careful when you're you're posing these figures for the first time because most most likely they will be stiff but let's see if we can get him 
posed up here. Maybe we can get him two, with the two hands on his lightsaber here. See, we can't get that lightsaber in the other hand there. There we go. So, there we go. Darth Vader with the action pose. Maybe we'll turn his, his wrists the other way. But, look at that. There is Darth Vader with his lightsaber. Like I said, just love the styling on these figures. Very cartoony. And Darth Vader, actually, this Darth Vader looks pretty bulky. Like, not, not super muscular like the power of the Force Darth Vader. But, he still looks, you could, you could get, you get, uh, you get the gist of, of how big this character is just by the size of the, the figure. Which I really like, so. Really like the styling. The sculpt is really decent. And the action, the action gimmick there, the, the swing, works really well. So, if you are buying it for someone to play with, it does work very well so really awesome figure overall but let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the Darth Vader Galaxy of Adventures figure let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and then click over here to watch one of my other reviews thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you